So here's my other wild cherry. This one's from the U.S. This is an American funk rock unit from Ohio. And they found fame in 1970 with the single Play That Funky Music. Rob Paris on vocals and guitar formed the band in Steubenville, Ohio, birthplace of famous lush Dean Martin, who showed us how everybody loves somebody sometime. Patrice named his band after a box of cough drops. Ben DeFabio on drums and Lou Osso on guitar, Larry, Larry Brown on bass, and Larry Madler on keyboards. This lineup was fairly short-lived while Cherry signed with Terry Knight who had played keyboards for Grand Funk Railroad and then became a record exec and producer. By 1975 they were run out of town on a rail. They landed in Pittsburgh and became a disco band with new members. The audience was begging for the white boys to play dance music so they turned the idea into their breakthrough play that funky music went to number one in 76 and the album went platinum. This one song pissed off so many kids that upon hearing on FM radio, they tore holes in their clothes and went full punk. The Disco Sucks Day at Bill Veek's Kaminsky Park, known as Disco Demolition Night in 79, is an example. Burst the cherry again. Parisi relocated to Florida in 79, formed a tour band with Bob Caldwell, and then in 1980 he moved to New York City and recorded with Billy Squire's band. He collaborated with Gary U.S. Bonds and Bruce Springsteen. In 2013, Parisi's hometown is Mingo Junction, Ohio, renamed a street in his honor. He returns home to do annual scholarship endowments at his alma mater, Indian Creek High School. Yeah, so there's that. Here's the records. One, Wild Cherry in 76. Two, Electrified Funk in 77. Three, I Love My Music in 78. Four, Only the Wild Survive in 79. And five, play the funk in, in in the year 2000. And that's a compilation. I don't know about you. I always thought this was the average white band that did this, this song. Did they do a song similar to this? I'll have to look it up. Because I'm curious now. Because this sounds like average white band a little bit to me. Maybe this is where the average white band got their idea to do their average white band stuff. Because, you know, they're saying, play that funky music, white boy, you know? I believe that's what the average white band tried to do. So, go figure. I know you're dancing with me. 